little thirsty. Maybe I can take a swig of some Douglas Adams. Hey everybody, I'm Crystal Lee Malone and this is the Technophiles Newscast. As cool as it is, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy won't really quench your thirst. Because it's a book. And books don't do that. At least until Dr. Teresa Donkovich came along and decided, well, obviously, that needs to change. All right, first, let's start with the problem. The fact is, we're pretty privileged here in North America with reliable access to clean drinking water, but this is not the case everywhere. According to the UN, there's 1.8 billion people regularly drinking contaminated water, and this leads to millions of deaths a year. Being a typical graduate student, Teresa turned to books to solve this problem. During her PhD in chemistry, at McGill University, Teresa did research into paper filters laced with silver nanoparticles, and in later trials, she added copper. So why metal and paper? Well, both of these metals in particular have inherent antimicrobial properties. This is why, for example, some people will only wear silver piercings, because they're less likely to get infected. Unlike my earrings which are made of mystery metal. So these paper filters make up the pages of the drinkable book, which can supply clean drinking water for up to four years for one person. The drinkable book was designed to be super easy. The book comes inside of a plastic case. You rip one page out, which remember is one of the filters. You slide it into the plastic box and then dump the dirty water into the box. The water filters through the page and you have clean drinking water. Now I know what you're thinking. How clean can this water really be going through just one little paper filter? In lab and field tests in South Africa, Haiti, Kenya, and Bangladesh, they were able to reach 99.9% .9 purity. This is comparable to US drinking water. So let's see here. We have a great invention. We have successful field tests. We have books, which I mentioned because I love books, but I feel like there's something missing. Oh, right. Funding. So far, so good, but there's still some scale testing to be done and production tests. So if you think the Drinkable book sounds really cool, visit Page Paper's Indiegogo campaign and you can help them out. Here at Technophiles, we're always interested in hearing more about humanitarian technology. Is there anything we haven't covered that you know of? Let us know in the comments below or tweet us at TechnophilesPod. You can also find us on Facebook and iTunes by searching Technophiles Podcast or visit us at our website at www.technophilespodcast.com. See you Wednesday. I have my towel. I have my guide. I will not panic and I'm ready to travel. In the meantime, you should check out V over here talking about beer bots. That is awesome. They deliver you beer. I want one now. Over here, we have V talking about here buds. Or if you really like us, you can go down here and subscribe to the big shiny subscribe button. I was shining it. Is it getting shinier?